Hey, Maria, back with another video. It's not, I'm not it's not 9, it's 1.19 p.m. It is October 13th, Friday the 13th, for all you superstitious people out there. And um, I'm here um, just doing my usual. You know, I'm kind of working on content, and at the same time, I'm being distracted by downloads. And I would say my work style, I, mean, I have a really good work ethic, and I'm very... You know, I have a very um, sharp focus, and that's one of the reasons why things like spiritual downloads or messages are great, but I find them frustrating because it immediately takes me away from what I'm doing, and it can take me a long time to go through these downloads, and I'm the kind of person that I don't feel balanced. I don't feel like I'm ready to take any other steps until after I finish processing these downloads. I mean, and I understand most people cannot understand me. That's one of the reasons why I try very hard to, you know, just kind of mind my own business and not let other people try to like put their or interject their feelings and stuff onto me because I literally do work on my own special, what I want to call divine, not that I'm divine, but you know, divine given um, timetable. And um, this is just how I am, you know. But I will say, you know, once I do get downloads, they usually serve to, to me as in a, in a very beneficial way. Um, some, for some reason, you know, I'm getting these downloads that, um, you know, I mentioned one yesterday, and I think it's really important because um, to know who you are, you know, whoever it is, you know, I don't, I, I remember. Um, thinking about how important it is to understand who your your ancestors are and it, I and you know obviously if I am adopted which I'm starting to believe that I am that I'm not of the bloodline that I, I thought I was I thought that I was the the um, <clears throat> blood relation of the Gordons and the and the Daniel family but this is not true I'm starting to see and understand and remember things that went on in my life that clearly point that, they, that it was like so in my face that how in the world did I not see it but see we like I said you know when you're younger you know you're just kind of going about your business you don't question things you just accept the fact that your brothers and sisters are bratty little kids and you think that they're just like bullying you for fun I didn't realize just how fucking political and deep this shit is but anyway um, yeah, I have been working on content for Patreon. I will say that my goal is to have for my Patreon to subscribers to have, I'm going to say minimum for instructional videos, um, for the entire month. Of course, there's going to be more, but I'm telling Maria, you know, cause I'm going to be managing a newsletter and a bunch of other things. So it's like, I am taking on a lot and I have to think about the kind of the time when it, um, that it takes to produce content and also it's important to me I think the most important thing to me is because I am imparting information and wisdom to you and I want to do it in a way where everyone understands and can catch on easily I, I, I had mentioned that you know I think a lot of people know that I've been into um, mysticism for a very long time this is a part I since birth okay um, and obviously there's a lot of people I get a lot of downloads on people who want to understand my techniques. Obviously, there's a lot of books out there that people could get and they probably read them and they found them very complex. And my thing is, I, I remember getting books too when I started realizing, hey, you know, I got these gifts and I realized that these books that they were that were printed out there were, were not, I'm not saying there's not good information in them. I'm just saying is that some people practice the art of manifestation in a very complex way and it makes total sense to them there's nothing wrong with that but I always thought that this could be used in a more practical way you know so there obviously is schools of thought out there like magical schools and stuff that do teach what they call like ceremonial magic where you're like you know um create casting circles and you're doing all this you know what I consider to be very elaborate time consuming stuff Whereas I'm not, you know, I, I wasn't trying to have all that. So I wanted to like really make it easy for, and this is what I've been working in, the system that I've been working on throughout, you know, the course of my, my life. You know, as far as when I realized that I had gifts, this is what I started doing and I created my own little system. Now, mind you, I would say every system that, that relates to the occult um generally does take from different um cultures and traditions and stuff and i'm i'm all for that 
I think the information that I received from different um, cultures and backgrounds have been very helpful to me spiritually. And some people want to understand or believe that there's a universal truth. I appreciate people from all over the world, mainly because I believe people from all over the world have small little bits and pieces to the universal puzzle that we're trying to solve. You know, that there there might be certain ideas and concepts that people like, for example, um, Hindus fully embrace that they understand and they utilize this information and it works for them and and, and other people outside of those that group might laugh at them or belittle these people but they actually do have something that is very valuable and i don't think that i i, I in a world where, where we were left to try to figure everything out on our own i think you know any bit of information all spiritual knowledge to me is fully accepted I will never laugh at anyone at all or mistreat them or discard them in any way. So I would like to say that people from all walks of, back, of life are welcome to join my Patreon channel. Um, anyway, when it's up and ready. And I'm hoping to have it ready by this upcoming Wednesday. Um, the actual goal was Sunday. But like I said, you know, what might appear to some people, they might think, oh, she's just being lazy. She's not doing anything. No, I'm going to tell you, downloads take a very long time because as I'm getting all these downloads, I immediately start questioning. Like what, then how in the world did this happen or blah, 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 because it's just a lot. Okay. It's a lot on a person. So I'm going to switch to the next scene really quick because I have something to share with you. Okay. So a part of the download information is, and I, you know, it's funny, like I had mentioned a while ago that I stumbled upon this, these um, tarot readings that people were doing online and I, I immediately accepted and believed that this particular message without even knowing anything about this reader or anything like that had something to do with me and you know what i was right i understand that i my gifts are sharp, very very sharp okay and you know that doesn't mean that i'm perfect okay i am not a perfect person but i will tell you i remember i think this was like in the month of may and um i was you know logging online into my computer like i always do every single day and there was this news article, this blog, which I'm going to tell you right now. I think a lot of blogs, I inspire a lot of blogs, okay? Um, and, you know, in, a, in the context of work, I don't like it when people steal my work because I'm at the time when I was young and naive and stupid, thinking that my work really mattered, I thought that, you know what, if my employer knows that the, the, what I, the kind of value that I can bring to them, that I would be appreciated and I could secure like my employment and I could get raises and I can move on and I can, you know, I could, it would add something to my career. Poor little girl. I was so stupid. But anyway, so it really would irk me. It pissed me off when people would take credit for my work, which people did this all the time and I hated it. Right. Okay. But when it comes to people writing information about blogs, especially when it comes to ethics, especially when it comes to trying to really make people think about their behavior, I want to tell you there's something in my heart that this says you know what let that shit go because really we need people to act better we need people to adapt better ways of living because this is <sighs> you guys know what you fucking did to me okay and, you know hey i'm not trying to point the finger but what my what i'm trying to make the point of i'm trying to make the point I'm trying to make a point that um what people instinctively do and the behaviors that they instinctively they instate you know inherently fall into you know it just goes to show you that these people we, we don't think okay society as a whole doesn't think they just do they they are willing to hurt and harm anyone they believe in things that they don't fully understand they participate you know in in nonsense or in genocide and they can do it easily you know so that's my point my point is is that um I believe that people are individually responsible for their own behaviors. And so I've been, so since I've been talking about this in my videos, I've been noticing, like I said, there's a lot of blogs, but, been, but this is the blog that I wanted to point out. Okay. Now this one is blowing my mind and I do not have confirmation for it. And I don't really know how to go about getting any legal confirmation for it. So I feel like I'm at a stalemate. But anyway, I would say in the month of May, See how, how I like veered off into the other conversations because this is one of the reasons why I like to write out my content and then like read it out because if I don't have all my thoughts in order, I, I, I'm just going to bl keep blaring off into different subjects. So believe me, when I create content, I do it in a logical order and I do it in a way where I'm not just like 
you know, getting off the subject. But when I'm getting off the subject, I really am on the same subject. It's just that it just has so many different faces to it. You know what I mean? Anyway, in the month of May, I was on my computer and I had noticed this particular article about this, this prince. Okay. He's a prince of Ethiopia. His name is D, and I'm probably not going to pronounce it correctly. It's D Jazz Match Elemejo Simeon Tiwodoros. Okay. Um, he was born in on April 23rd, 1861. He passed away on November 14th, 1879. He was a very young man when he passed away. He was like 18 years old. He died, and he, I believe, he, he's built, he's buried in the catacombs in, in, in England. Okay, um, um, it seems like he had a very sad life, okay, and obviously a very sad and short life, but whatever reason, um, <clears throat> I remember feeling compelled to read that story when, it, it, when I saw it, and yesterday when I had these downloads, and see, you know what I hate? Okay, I have talked to, <laughs> I have talked to people you know, like, I call it barbershop talk, you know, where, like, a lot of black people get together and they talk about, you know, they, a lot of black people want to be from places like Egypt and Ethiopia because that's, like, the coolest parts, right? So, um, people would tell me that I was from Egypt when I was younger. Now, this man, this particular, uh, he's referred to as Prince Alemeheo, I believe that's how you pronounce his name without sounding dumb, um, He's from Ethiopia, but I do believe that there is some sort of connection between Ethiopia and Egypt, okay? And I don't remember exactly right off the top of my head. I know they have trades that, that go along um, with, the, with these two places, but I, I'm not exactly sure as far as political rule. And I, I feel bad for saying that because I feel like I should know because, you know, I'm a genius and everything. But I, I don't know completely. I'm not 100% clear on that, okay? I do know that from my, based on my downloads, everyone, I was, the reason why people treated me like shit when I was growing up is because I was adopted. Now, as fucked up and as cruel as that, that sounds, it's the truth, and this is one of the reasons why, um, I do think that there's a problem, serious problem with people's ethics, morals, their standards. If somebody is going to hate somebody just because they're adopted, shame on them, okay? Um, I'm going to, I'm just kind of going to go to the Bible and I don't really have the verse, but it does talk about how people should be, you know, kind, especially kind to the elderly and those who are considered orphans. Okay. So people think, and my, unfortunately, the family that adopted me, the Gordon family, uh, see how quick, it is very easy for me to disassociate myself from being related to them. Okay. See how that just rolls off my tongue. Like the Gordon family, like I don't have no shit to do with that at all. Okay. I, you know, if I can like somehow distance myself from it, good. Okay. But anyway, here, here's a family that is using a child to supplement their income. Fuck it. They're not even supplementing their income. I am basically the cause of them getting an income. Okay. So they don't like me because I'm a smart kid. And this is where the hypocrite, the, the shit just really pisses me off. I know black people talk about, oh, yeah, we want people to advance in our race and all this other stuff. But the minute they, they see evidence that there's somebody who's dark skin, who can be somebody, who can do something, they want to they wanna cut it down. This is the hypocrisy of people in general, okay? Um, so my family hated me, which is wicked, right? It's hypocritical. And then they encourage other people to hate me too. Now, this is not me trying to, to, to like start an argument because I already have like, you know, 1300 videos of me bitching and complaining and name calling and just like literally calling other people out on this issue, which I have every right to. Okay. But I'm not pissed off about it anymore. I've completely moved on from it. But I think the point that I'm trying to make here is that look how people treat orphans. People who have no one, people who that nobody fucking cares about, and they encourage other people not to care about that person either. So this is why I don't get upset when I see blogs about really people taking some time out to look at the human nature, you know, that they were that they normalized, looking at their backgrounds and thinking, okay, did I really was I really raised correctly, you know, do I really have compassion for people, or am I evil, or do I have a little bit of evil in me? See, so, yeah, this is what I'm interested in. Like, and so when I see people writing blogs based on my shit, you know, unlike the work 
you know, the, the nine to five job where people are ripping me off. I'm going to say I'm really glad to see that. I hope it makes a difference. Okay. But anyway, so back to this print. Sorry, man, I'm telling you. Okay. So this print, I believe yesterday as I was meditating, I kept thinking, I bet you that print might have something to do with who I am. I bet you it does. Now, I know that in the past, I remember this girl telling me from school, and since I'm getting the download that everybody except for me knew that I was adopted, so I was basically the laugh of the town, the person that everybody fucking hated and wanted to beat up on because I was adopted and I was a smart girl, right? Um, so where am I going with this? Okay, so... The bullying, the bullying, the, oh shoot, I'm like losing my train of thought here. Um, okay. So then we have me, um, you know, not being fully accepted by people because my mom was obviously afraid of me because of, she, she felt intimidated by my intelligence. Um, and then the other kids at school didn't like me only because people were told not to like me. Um, when I think about this prince, um, I kept thinking, oh, wow, you know, maybe he, he does have something to do with me. And I remember a girl when I was having a conversation with her back in high school and, you know, because everybody knew I was adopted, she might have known that I was from a, a different origin. I had different origins because I remember her saying, you just remind me of like an Egyptian or something. And I kept thinking, oh, OK, well, I didn't really think much about it now. But somehow it seems relevant. So it seems relevant right now. So I don't know. Um, what else could I find out about this particular prince? You know, I don't know if it seems like he would have some family, some sort of family left over from that time period, even though, see, it looks like his father had committed suicide. OK, and his mother passed away shortly after that. And this is when he went to over over to England to spend the rest of his life. I really do. I can't really go into the whole story right now. If you have an interest in it. Um, you might want to go ahead and Google it and look at it, but somehow I, I, I feel as though if, if, um, if people knew that I was adopted, it seems like, you know, since I was dealing with the gang stalking, people know a lot more about me than I even know. Like, so they probably know about this. If it is true, they probably know about this prince already. Okay. But it seems like he would have other family, like, cause like he might've had sisters that didn't go into England with him. He may have had um, cousins or some, somebody. He still has to have some some family. Um, I don't know if I would go and try to track these people down or anything like that. But, you know, it, I'm, I'm amazed at all of this. You know what I mean? And now when I put everything together, it makes total sense. You know, and I'm just trying to make sense of it myself. You know what I mean? It's, it's a lot to digest, you know? It is for me. So anyway, I'm going to move on to the next thing. All right. So I thought I would go ahead and add some celebrity shout outs because I have been thinking that's not that's what I do it deliberately. It's just that people's faces just come surfacing up, you know, in my mind. Like I will just be sitting on my couch and then all of a sudden I see somebody's face just being circling, you know, it's like circling up in my in my in my mind, in my third eye, or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, I want to say hi to Melissa, Melissa Etheridge. How are you? I hope everything's well. Um, Cassandra Peterson. I, I used to love Elvira. I used to watch it all night. Um, well, I watch it at night. And um, I mean, some of the shows were pretty cheesy, but I mean, you made it fun. You were a really good host on that show. Um, I want to say hi to Neil Diamond. I love your music. And um, you keep popping up in my head. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, Mickey Dolenz. Apparently, Mickey Dolenz had a little bit of an issue with me, and he wants to apologize and say he's sorry. Hey, you know, Mickey, it's all well and good. We can be best friends forever. I don't have an issue with you at all. Actually, I think you're pretty damn cool. Um, Barack and Michelle Obama, hello. How are you? Hope all's doing well. And I want to say hi to George Strait. You know, yes, I actually saw that movie, Pure Country. Don't ask me how I saw it, but I did see it. It was actually pretty good. Um, I always appreciated you as a... Um... Anyway, Oprah Winfrey, how are you doing? 
I want to say hi to Barbara Streisand. I love your music. I love your voice. You have a great voice. I also want to say hi to Deborah Harry. I remember growing up thinking you were cool. I remember seeing you in this leather jacket. And I remember telling my dad that I wanted a leather jacket. And you know what he said as being a man that he was. He was like, only tramps wear that. I guess, well, I guess that makes me a tramp then. Because <laughs> I, I loved your style. Anyway, um, Deepak Chopra, how are you? I love you. You have a great voice. I have, um, you're on my Pandora channel. <laughs> I like Pandora. I use Pandora, you know, to keep me entertained when I get bored. And um, I, I like your channel. So it's wonderful to listen to. And I think you're a really cool dude. Um, hello, Lisa Bonet. I wish we could hang out sometime. I always liked you. I want to say hi to Russell Paul. Um, you know, Russell Paul, I think you're great. As a matter of fact, I love, um, I, I obviously do not speak the language, but I love your music and I think it's what it is what I love it, about it is it's very high vibrational it's great to meditate to um, I had a lot of great experiences listening to your music and um, I immediately became a fan of your of your music so um, yeah keep up the good work I want to say hi to um, Henry Wrinkler you know um, you're just like a big part of my childhood from like the very from the very get get go I really do appreciate the work that you've done um, Hello, Shannon Doherty. How are you? I wish you light and happiness. Um, I also want to say hi to Kelly Item. I remember meeting up with him. Not really meeting up with him, but communicating with him briefly back in, I would say, 2012, somewhere around there. I had some health issues. He has a book called The Doctor That Cures Cancer. I hope I remember the, the name of that um, correctly. I think he's a he's a great man, and um, you guys should like reach out to him if you have any questions. Also, I wanted to say hi to um, David Lee Roth. Man, you know what? I, when I think about you, I think about that beautiful mane of hair that you used to have. And I remember so many women talking about how beautiful you were. And I got to say, man, you were totally were totally beautiful. Hello, how, hello, and I hope everything's doing well with you. I also want to say hello to Linda Carter. I love you in Wonder Woman. Um, I got to tell you, I had the Wonder Woman doll. And I couldn't, I have to say, you have always been the best Wonder Woman. And to me, no one else, like, you, no one else could fit that role. You know what I mean? To me, you're always going to be Wonder Woman. You did a great job of it. And um, I appreciate the work that you've done. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. I'll be back with another video sometime later. Take care. Bye.